I scan the forest below for a source of water. Man is part water, and water, part of man. Down there. Nature program. Nature program. Nature program. Nature program. Nature program. I mosey down the rambling walk until I reach the stream. I reflect upon mankind's magnificent domination of nature. Man is, in nature, what he needs to, and should, be. I pause briefly for a drink but it seems I'm not alone at this particular watering hole. As we make the transition into autumn, we get a lot more average rainfall per month, weekly. You'll notice here that due to heavy rains, the river is completely swollen and rapids have begun to form. As the river gorges itself with rainwater, it'll cut a wider, arrow through the Wissahickon Valley, depositing additional layers of silt as it accumulates. natural rock structure behind me was caused by the process known as wind erosion. Wind erosion is the erosionary process on rock by wind. Nature's delicate beauty is found in its fertility, but as much as life flourishes here, there's always the threat of outside forces. In complete silence, I stalk my inferior herbivore prey. I assert myself with a thorough rogering of the undulant. I'm about to try and scale the igneous rock formation you see in front of us. This foundation was formed over 80,000 years ago by volcanic activity and sediment. As you can see, a lot of the crack marks and fissure points along this rock are probably older than this whole area entirely. Oh. Thank <laughs> you.